guess what, folks? Guess what? We are in Monterey, Monterey, Virginia, as in Blu-ray, Monterey. Yes. Oh, what up? I'm here. Yeah, we should. Damn it. And it's starting to rain, baby. Just pulled up. About to get my bike squared so I can take it to the shop. But yeah. Tip snowshoe weather. Tip snowshoe weather. Yep. So check it out, guys. Look like I made it. And it's drizzling just a little bit. Sorry for the shaky camera. Uh not on a common grip but just got a, like a handheld grip so if it's shaky bear with me i'm going to get this bike fixed look at that feel like good old snowshoe that was a quick fix by mark in the bike shop now i'm about to go in and check in and uh see if the other mark want to ride or if he just want to chill for the rest of the day and then just ride tomorrow so <sighs> yeah so this is usually what happens uh, when you get the snowshoes like it's usually like nice and pretty as soon as you pull up and then you're here for about 20 minutes and it's just yep good morning good morning beautiful people of snowshoe but yeah, look at it. Check out the fog. So, what up? It's almost 8 o'clock and I uh, got up around 6 ish. Um, so now I'm just chilling, you know, about to eat me some breakfast and uh, hang out for a little bit and get the bike all squared away. Uh, probably take it to the shop uh, so I can get these last two gears because on Skyline yesterday I felt kind of weird not being able to get those last two gears to get more speed. So, uh, and it was also skipping the gears so I got to figure that out. We go tap it today. But today should be prime. guys do it that are coming that'll tell you off of it nope all, the, all three it? of us want to do it uh, <laughs> you're all gonna follow each other and pile up and then <laughs> yeah uh, all right hit it That's scary. I tell you from the videos it looks small, but from up here that's a long way. Shit. 
shit. What up, homies? We out here, snowshoe, as usual. And uh, Mark went to go back to the room and change his bars. Uh, conditions are great. The sun is out. The tracks are tacking up real good. So, yeah, so just stick around. It's going to be some awesome riding. I went to go check out the Approach RT Gap. It looks dry enough. So, now I just need to find somebody to take me off this thing. Uh, I kind of like went for it and like lock up the brakes like right before it, but um, it feels good. Now I'm just getting somebody in front of me just to take me off this thing. So we'll see if that happened today. Keep a sketch. 100. Did that wind get me? Woohoo! Standing deep, huh? Oh yeah. That was bad. Yeah, I got some. I got some wind coming off the road gap and did like this. Whoop. Really? Yeah, I saw. I was like sticking a little bit further back. You looked a little. Uh, yeah. Out of whack in the air, like that's it. Yeah, it was like the wind said. Whoop, it said. <laughs> yeah, I came into the trees and I wasn't looking ahead at all. I was like looking up at the ski lift to see if people were on there and shit. <laughs> and uh. I came in and I was expecting like, you know how you can go straight? Yeah. That to be closed just because it wasn't the race. And I fucking, I don't know. Yeah. Stop like shit. Yep. Hey guys, we are up in the village getting our bikes worked on because I'm always busting stuff up, you know? And 10 gallon got me today. Real big crash through 10 gallon. You guys can see it in the video, but my uh my hand is starting to swell up. My pinky and my ring finger is starting to swell up so hopefully i can get some more runs in uh keep some grip but um yeah i ripped my jersey up a little bit on the back side so yeah it's a uh a good day a good day on the hill good day up here that snowshoe look at it oh nice damp over here, man. It's dry on the other side. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh! oh. oh. Come on, man. <laughs> Get down, GoPro. Hey. That better not be on the internet either. <laughs> it's safer to ride than to walk. We hit the, the gap. For real? Yeah. How was it? The, the, oh, yeah, the big one? A little bit. Yeah. Sweet. I laid a boot do your best to do right now. And you're like, dude. How'd you feel on it? Oh, good. Nice, yeah. <laughs> He's about to hit it again. I'm about to get a picture. Oh, oh, there you go, Angelo. Right now? Do it? You want to take a couple yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm go down there and watch you first. Oh, yeah. you have to, it's honestly maybe like a tick faster than the road gap up there. 
gotcha. had a lot more air time. Yeah, more air time wow. and like we just floated there. Yeah. Like, Did you pull up on the bars or anything? Nope. Dude, what was weird is I don't know if it's like if my rear end's dropping out from under me in the air or okay. if I'm getting like if I don't know what's happening, but dude, I was I almost looped out the second time. I'm a little shook from it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I hit it twice. And that height. I hit it twice. I'm like, cool. We're good for the man, day. Yeah, I got like, a picture. You're going to look like a yard sale if you wreck on that, man. Oh, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah Cody got the picture. I didn't get the picture yet. I had to have Cody tell me. Hey, you, you, got, you got your picture? Yeah. Sweet. All right, well, we'll go down and meet you down there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go down there and watch you come off first. Yeah, Is it running? Got the red light blinking? Yep. Let's do it. Let me know when you're ready to go. Really? I'm going no brakes, man. Alright. I'm ready to drop. Alright. You good? Good. Sick. I was like, where is that coming from? I didn't see that at all. I just hit the Pro GRT gap. Alrighty, what up, what up, what up? So, I'm leaving Snowshoe now. Uh, pretty awesome day of riding, you know, like, great day of riding. Uh, you know, I went the entire season uh, without, like, a real bad crash or whatever. I'm feeling pretty good, you know. And so um, I knew I was like quite due for like a crash. You know, I've had like slide outs here and there, but like nothing like over the bars, hit your head, you know what I'm saying, break some stuff up or whatever. Um, but today all that changed. So, you know, we were like on our fourth for fifth run, you know, feeling good, you know. And we're for oops, we're uh you know, fourth or fifth run, and we're heading uh, through 10 gallon. And you know, we hit the road gap, go through 10 gallon, and I get to the the bottom portion of 10 gallon, and I, and I go to like try to double that last rock. And nope, somehow uh, I lift the front end up, but the rear wheel got sunken into like something I don't know, slipped on a root, something like that. And the bike like nose dive and like get caught up and I go over the bars and I bang my head, scratched up the new helmet and stuff pretty good. Um, uh, like my fingers are like swollen now. Got bruises all over my back, bruises all over my shoulder. And I, you know, I, I had on gear, you know, where the, the knee pads, the chest protector, you know, the elbow pads and stuff like that, the neck brace, in which it all worked. But just areas that just not padding, you know, get the blown up. But, um, so then I was like a little down on the day because I crashed. And, uh, 
So I had to get like my mojo back or whatever. So we just rode some more. We ended up going to the basic side, doing a few laps over there. And then after that, we headed back to the Western Territory because it was quite packed over in that side. So um, went back to the Western Territory, did like two more runs. And on the way back up, we see Matt and uh, Cody. He's like, yo, we out going, wait on us. He's like, we're going to Judy Chop. First time going and like we hitting it and we get like right before the takeoff and I'm like catching up with him I'm like I'm up right on his rear wheel like we would have hit well if I would have hit it uh, I probably would have landed on him so I pulled off like at the last minute and after that I was like you know what we got to do it I'm gonna give you some room and I'm just gonna go for it and so we pushed back up to the top of like Judy Chop and we went for it and we go flying down and uh you know and I come off that lip and it was just like whoa I'm up here for way too long boom and then I land and then I just ride off in the field like I'm not stopping what an awesome feel uh, that was crazy that was uh yeah, that was that was sick. That was probably the highlight of the weekend right there. I had plans on hitting that. You guys know I had plans on hitting that. I've been posting about it. I've been sending in my other videos and, and stuff like that. So, you know, I finally got it. Even though, like, I was a little skeptical, a little down because uh, man, you know, I crashed earlier. You know, you know how crashes get you, man. You crash and you crash real hard. You're like, you know what? I don't want to do this. I'm just going to take it easy. But no, you know, I just just kept riding, you know, just, I don't know, got loose after my crash, you know, got loose, stayed loose, and like, just kept having fun, and, you know, and I didn't even think about the crash anymore, and, um, but yeah, hitting that road got was exciting, man, so, yeah, and I just need to uh, tack down that landing just a, a little better, and Shout out to Mark Wallace in the bike park with Snowshoe. Definitely kept me rolling today. Like, just like problem after problem from the from the headset problem from when I got here on Friday to spokes to my derailleur. You know, like my derailleur is mangled. My, the hanger is dead, like, and so I only had one gear, but I took it to Mark around like 2 o'clock, and he did his thing and got me back rolling, so shout out to Mark, you know, if y'all ever had snowshoe, something happened to y'all bike, go haul at Mark, man, he's a great guy, good dude, yeah, man. Definitely kept me rolling this weekend. That's for sure. But I.